on the video uh, today's video is going to be my top 20 1990s horror films uh, this is part of the top 20 for 2020 series created by joe at the horror man and jason from horrific nightmares jm um so yeah a bit late to this one but i wanted to do it anyway because i really like doing these lists so uh yeah without further ado my top 20 uh, number 20 sorry is going to be halloween uh, h2o I do prefer it over Curse of Michael Myers, only slightly though. Um, yeah, just really fun. Has that 90s vibe and also that 90s cover with all the floating heads. At number 19, I have Candyman. I've seen this as a lot higher on other people's lists. Um, I do like it. I just don't think it's as good as some other people think it is. Um, still a great film and it was from the year 1992. Uh, also from the year 1992, number 18, Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. Uh, out of all the Hellraiser sequels, I think this is the most fun and entertaining. Uh, definitely one you'd throw on with a bunch of people that don't really know too much about the franchise. I think they just have a ball with this one. And number 17 from 1994, uh, we have Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Um, I only have it in this collection. But yeah, pretty fun film. Um, yeah, how it's like a film in a film. But yeah, good way to end the franchise, I thought. At number 16 from 1994, um, Phantasm 3, Lord of the Dead. Uh, this is just a little, uh, little one that comes in the Arrow box set. It's the only way I have this film. So but yeah, I think it's a really fun kind of like road movie. Um, a lot of people don't really like it that much, but I prefer it over like part two and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, definitely worth it. Probably the last good Phantasm movie in that franchise. From 1995, I'm going with Leprechaun 3. Uh, it's my favorite in the franchise. Um, when he goes to Vegas, I just think it's the perfect setting for this kind of silly franchise to go. Um. The kills are overboard. The dialogue's funny. Yeah, just a really enjoyable film. Number 14. Uh, I have I Know What You Did Last Summer. I don't know if I've seen this on many people's lists. I know it's not the most popular film. Uh, it's from 1997. Um, yeah, it was just one of those um, horror movies I seen when I was really young. Uh, I was one of the... Probably not the first, but it was probably in the top five horror films that I seen when I was younger, or the first five, sorry. Um, yeah, just really enjoyed it. I think it's still good. The sequels aren't that great. Um, yeah, but the original I think's a lot of fun. It's just a great scream ripoff, really. At number thirteen from nineteen ninety one, I'm going with Puppet Master Three. I think it's Toulon's Revenge or something like that. Um, Puppet Master 3 is probably my favourite in the franchise um, it's just a lot of fun going that prequel backstory in Germany um, yeah I don't mind I've only seen the first five films I do have the others on a big multi-pack but um, I haven't watched them yet so but yeah Puppet Master 3 a lot of fun and that's my number 13 number 12 also from 1991 we have Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Um, super fun film. Great home invasion film as well. Um, I really like the story. I think it's one of Wes Craven's best films out of the Nightmare franchise. Um, and when I first watched this when I was younger, I didn't really care for it. But upon rewatch, I really enjoyed it. Coming in at number 11, we have from 1993, Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. Uh, this is a super fun sequel to the original. Uh, not as good as the original, but it's a lot of fun. The practical effects are great. A lot of, heard a lot of people don't really like this, but I've seen the first three Pumpkinhead movies and enjoyed them all. Uh, the creature design's awesome. 
the kills are great. I even think the story is really good. Um, yeah, again, doesn't not as good as the original, but still a fun film. Okay, top 10 time from 1999, Deep Blue Sea. I think this is the best shark movie uh, after Jaws. But yeah, I've seen this when I was young too, but I think it's really great. The sequel's pretty, pretty average, but um, yeah, this film is a lot of fun. At number nine, Army of Darkness. Uh, this is from 1992. Don't really have to say much about this. Um, just Ash at his finest. All these great dialogue. And I like where it kind of takes it away from the cabin and that medieval setting. I think it's a good change of pace. At number eight, Audition. Uh, this is from 1999. Um, only seen this once, but um, it was a really great movie. Um, yeah, it's just more like a love story and then it just turns batshit at the end. Um, I'm sure everyone's seen it. Oh, most people have anyway. It is it is subtitled, so keep that in mind if you haven't seen it. But yeah, it's I think it's close to two hours runtime, yeah. But um, like the last sort of 20, 30 minutes goes crazy. But other than that, it's a really good story and it doesn't drag whatsoever. Uh, coming in at number seven, Silence of the Lambs. I've seen this up high on a few people's lists. I do really love the movie. I just love what's under it a lot more. But yeah, this you know this won an Oscar for Best Picture and stuff like that, which is unheard of in horror. Um, I think they categorized it under like thriller and that, but we all know what it was. Um, yeah, Anthony Hopkins' performance in this is just next level. From the year 1990, and, and my number six, we have Misery. Uh, this is super fun mo movie. I really want to read the book. I've heard the book is really good. And there's a lot more like gruesome detail in the book than they've shown in this film. But yeah, you know, the writer gets in a car accident and his biggest fan is trying to nurse him back to health. But she's not all there and tries to keep him there for as long as possible to rewrite his new book that she does not like. Now my top five. Uh, it was kind of hard to get these in an order, but I did it finally. So my number five is from Dusk Till Dawn. Uh, this is from 1996. Uh, this is just fantastic. I love how the first half, or probably two thirds of this film, is just like a road movie. And then the last act is just vampires and all action. And it's just, yeah, super fun. I haven't seen the sequels, so let me know if they're any good. But um, yeah, extremely, extremely fun movie. George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino as brothers. My number four film goes to the remake of Night of the Living Dead from the year 1990. Um, I really like Tony Todd in this. Um, just super, I, don't know, I like it better than the original, that's for sure. It's just a lot more fun and updated. Not that the original's bad, but... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I can watch this film a lot and never get bored of it. It's probably one of my, probably if not my favourite zombie film. My top three. Coming in at number three from 1991. I'm going with Child's Play 3. Uh, it's probably the fav most favourite in the franchise. I know a lot of people like number two, but I think three beats it out a bit better. It's more mean-spirited, has... Funnier dialogue, in my opinion. And, yeah, fantastic Chucky film. Coming in at number two, Dead Alive, or Brain Dead. Uh, sure everyone's heard about this, seen it. Um, it's from the year 1992. Just a lot of fun. Peter Jackson gore. And, yeah, still waiting on that 4K or the Blu-ray version, so... <laughs> I'm hanging on to this until I, we get that, but I'm not holding my breath. And kind of an anti-climactic number one, but the original Scream. Um, again, it's probably, it, it was in probably the first three horror movies that I've ever seen. 
was this uh, filmed on VHS, like it was like a TV cut of it. So yeah, this has a lot of nostalgia to me and just the whole story and everything in it that it's done, like it, you know, brought back horror in the 90s. Like I'm sure everyone's heard that a million times, but yeah, my number one is Scream. So I hope you enjoyed my list, guys. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below and go check out Joe's channel and Jason's channel and I'll see you in the next video.